Now it's that time of the week again when we unleash the power of branding on India's biggest marketing show, Kiska Brand Bajega. Today you're in treat because we've got a real dance dynamo in the house. He's the mastermind behind some of Bollywood's most iconic dance numbers. And his choreography style is so legendary that it's got its own name. His dance academy has been the training ground for stars like Shahid Kapoor, Sushant Singh Rajput, Varun Dhawan and many, many more. But let me tell you, this maestro isn't confined to just the film world. He's taken his dazzling choreography to the global stage, directing and performing at events like the Commonwealth Game and the World Economic Forum. And get this, even Bill Clinton himself was impressed by his moves. No prizes for guessing who he is. Let's give a huge round of applause for the guru of contemporary dance in India, the incomparable Shamak Dhawan. Thank you. What a kind speech. Thank you, Shamak. How are you doing? Thank Pleasure meeting you. <laughs> Before I actually start the interview, mm. right? You're 62. 63 this you're year. You're 63 this year? This year, yeah. This year, right? Shamak, your dance journey is both inspiring and pioneering, especially your introduction of contemporary jazz to India. Can you share with us how you first discovered your passion for dance and who were your major influences growing up? There was no love for dance. Actually, I used to be this little comic clown in my family in the living room. And uh, then I went, every weekend I would go to the Basant movie tone, my, okay. the sets of my grand uncle, but he was like my grandfather. He was Homi Wadia and asked to go to chamber in his studio and watch all these movies like Saraswati Chandra, Teen Bhauraniya, and a lot of these old, uh, you know, classics. And then on the other hand, my father would play you know, jazz and Ella Fritz Gerald and, you know, all these kind of... I, I had the best of both. Mary Mai, as I used to call uh, Nadia, fearless Nadia. She was my great aunt and she was like, literally someone who encouraged me a lot and said, come on, Shamak, you must do this, you must do that. That's how I told my grand uncle I want to go and just do some classes in uh, acting and singing. I didn't even think of dancing. And they sent me to that place in Pineapple Dance Centre where I did the acting course. That was how the whole journey started. When did the dance ka kida by Shamak Dhawar? I, I used to play, you know, the piano and sing. And then I did a lot of competitions in Bombay and I won lots of competitions out here. And then uh, I, I saw something about singing workshops in London. So I begged my grand uncle, homie uncle. I said, homie uncle, I really want to go. You have to sponsor me. Because mommy, daddy are saying no. Right. And then I was passing by the class and I said, oops, what is this? This looks very familiar dance. Oh, let me try so I went for about a month. So that's how I started the thought of dancing. But talking about dance, I don't know of any other choreographer, talent in the country who's got their own style. It's called, it was called Shamak style of dance, right? And we, this is a branding marketing show and there's no greater brand than having your own style of dance. Now, how did that happen? A lot of Western influences, yes. which probably India would have not seen at that point yes. of time. Shah Rukh's wife was my student. Yeah. And uh, one day I got a phone from Gauri Singh, come home, no, Sharak wants to meet you. I said, for what? Then he called me for dinner, he said, there's a movie called Dilto Pagle. I said, oh, nice, great. He said, no, but I wanted to choreograph it. I said, are you mad? I said, Sharak, my style, your movie will flop. It's too Western, it's never going to work. No, I want it, I don't care. There's Madhuri, there's Karishma, Yashankal said, you can use your own dancers, this, that. But I remind him of this conversation, yeah, I remember, I remember, he tells me. No, it was actually because of Sharuk's forcing me and Yashankal's mad love for me. And then I started Lege Lege, then Chak Tum Dum, then Are Re Re, then that Jugal Bandi with uh, uh, Karishma and Mahadev. The Dance of Envy. Yeah, but it was really because of Yashankal and Shahrukh because I would have never done it. Because see, first of all, my journey was so difficult just to be recognized as a yeah. dancer, forget choreographer and singer. So I had no concept of this kind of journey. That was what made me get into choreography. Lovely. So I, this is quite a revelation. Shamak, you've been choreographing in Bollywood for years now. How much did your involvement in Bollywood contribute to elevating brand Shamak? Did it open up new avenues for your brand's growth? Bollywood just... has given me everything because see, don't forget, I was just a school yeah. trying to get people to dance because I believe, I really believe this from my heart and soul. India has too much talent. If I don't educate, right. No use, because I wanted to contribute, not com compete. Right. You know what, I want to contribute. I want the Indian child to learn. I want education to go through. It just made me feel happy. And that is why, you know, I didn't do many films. I did. But all the films that you've done, you've been the, I probably believe that you've been the lucky charm, because all of them have been blockbusters. I've also been lucky charm for Miss Indias, because <laughs> Priyanka one when I trained her, Aishwara one when I trained her, uh, two others, 
who I trained who also won. So I am a lucky charm. Lovely, lovely. The Shamak Dawa Dance Company has nurtured talents like Shahid Kapoor, Sushant Singh Rajput and Varun Dhawan to name a few. What is your approach to spotting and nurturing talent? Do you think success can be predicted in the world of dance and entertainment, Shamak? There are people who are born with a natural gift. Right. Who can make it fast. But there are also people who have worked very hard and made it. Okay. So there's a slight thin line between hard work and a gift. But the guy or the girl with the gift has something, has a magic, that even uh, someone who's really hard working will show the beauty. But the magic will come in the person who has it a natural. That's why I say it's God's gift. You've done iconic dance steps, you know, I, I, uh, the, be the legge legge or, or some of the very cool hook steps. What is the inspiration? Do you, where do you draw research? Do you surf what's happening in India across the world? It's something I'm telling you, just trust me on this. When you're connected with your body, mind and soul in a way, you, you know, you hear the music, you hear the drums, you hear the bass, you hear the guitar, you hear the saxophone, you hear the drums, and it tells you what to do. It's not that I'm telling, oh, you know, and the lyrics, lyrics are telling me what to do, the story is saying what to do. So for me, it's a whole story. So if you see my, uh, even if you see that Jogal Bandi song with Karishma and uh, Madhuri, yeah. she's walking up the steps and she's unzipping her jacket to say, why is she in my territory? For me, that's choreography. When you actually choreograph, you also have your dance company yeah. being a part of oh, the choreography. Oh, they're my saviors. Right? Yeah. And, and when you see a song, you know, they say right? that they have a charm in that With all of this, right? And there is a particular kind of costume, or the yeah, look yeah. that Shama yeah, always because gave. I have to be involved in the direction, the costume, the lighting. I mean, I am crazy about, you know, I will design it somehow, I will do this somehow, I will do the... Besides the choreography, I will do every single thing myself because at that time we didn't have designers for shows we just used to do it ourselves i would see a beautiful you know curtain i would take plants i would take a lampshade and put on the head i would do things to just enhance the look of choreography and that is what became a specialty the chamak you know you would use props because props are never used before yes so i used to use props and i would do costuming when the costume would become a prop also and i would make into a sari from this huge wings, I would bring it back and I could make it a sari. You know, the things I would use, it just comes, you know, when you when you just are connected and you pray and you just ask for help and you say, God, I need to do this and I need to do a good job, help me. And they just help you. Somebody will help you, I believe. I want to now talk about Shamak the singer. You've had singles. Now the music scene has completely changed. How are you going to be reviving as a part of the brand Shamak journey? Any plans to do albums now, collaborations? What are your plans, Shamak? I don't have a plan. I never plan. I only plan a little bit and then I stop. So I feel that there's a lot of potential for me to do my classes, my schools and also my Victory Arts Foundation because I find there's a lot of potential in that. And I really want to grow into doing more and more education for the masses. Okay. Because I feel if dance can heal you, it can heal you on all levels. And that is for me a sort of a goal but then I have no plans for movies or for this or for that. I have a book called The Laws of the Spirit World, which actually is like my, uh, my guru, my guide. It's about life after death and karma, reincarnation, and how to be basically a good guy on earth. Sure. And uh, it's about kindness and courage. And the main thing is that, as they say, that, you know, seva is more important than all this. Of course, I love the fame. I love the money. I love the adulation. Why? I'm a human being. I love all of it. But at the end of the day, it doesn't satisfy me completely. You've, you've been bestowed with a lot of awards, not just in India, but also international, right? Uh, also, the, I think one of the most prestigious is the, the national award. For yeah. Films, right? Um, any mountains that are left to be conquered? Anything Baba. that you want to I, achieve? I'm telling you again, I know it sounds very silly, but I have nothing to achieve, nothing to run after, nothing to do. I live my day every day as what it is. I do not think of my next project. Of course, I will think of my show if it's coming up. Oops, I've got the Miss World after finish off. Oops, I've got the IPL. Oh, I've got this show. Oh, I've got, you know, the, uh, the Commonwealth. I just believe at 63, I am in a place I want to be. I want to do what I want to do. And I don't want to rush. I just want to flow. We are talking about shows, right? And, and, and 
there's probably not a show that I am I am aware of that Shah Mukhdavar has not done. From award ceremonies in India and abroad to the biggest of weddings, right? I've, I think you've done it all. But is Shah Mukhdavar Dance Company, has Bollywood lost out? Because we don't see you doing a lot of work in Bollywood today. Is it because there's a lot of teaching that you're involved in a lot of shows? Do you want to know the truth? Of course I want to know the truth. And the truth India is, wants to know the truth. The truth is, I'm not asked so often. Why is that, Shama? I don't know. I think they think I'm either unavailable or not interested, which is not true. I just want to do things that are of value. I don't want to do some, you know, a formula. I want to do something where I can... Like Vishal Bhardavad did something with me recently for iPhone and we did this beautiful modern contemporary work which is a Ken Shamak style work. Yes. You call me for something interesting like that, I will be there. Come to me and ask me that, you know, Shamak, I want to do a song and I leave it to you. If it's a, it's a mudra, it's a Indian class, just give me something and let me take over. And people who come to me are like, the, the same formula, give me Dil to Pagli, give me Doom, give me, you know, it's the same thing. So you've caught into the trap of your own style. Where I, think I don't expect- want to do that. So you don't want to do that. Anymore. No. Lovely, you said you want to do a mushra. You want to do a classical dance. And I can do it. That's the whole thing. People think I can only do Western Agreed. stuff. But they don't know how good I'm in the Indian. And also my style is so much of rural stuff inside. So much of Chao, Odyssey, uh, you know, Kalari. There's a lot of Indian work in my Western work. Sure. So it's not what people think. They've only seen a certain thing of me and they think, oh, Shamak is only like this. So pr- probably that's the reason. Do you plan to direct? No. No. I want to do my school. I want to do my teaching, my education. And if something that really excites me to direct, I will do it. If something excites me to choreograph, I will do it. Lovely. Shamak, your philanthropic work through the Fig Tree Arts Foundation is commendable. How do you decide to start this initiative? And also, what are your plans for Fig Tree Arts Foundation in the near future? There was a lady who came to me, a, actually a young girl, about 25. She had polio in one arm and she was, uh, she asked me, can I do your class? I said, of course you can do my classes, what's the problem? After a year, she said, see Shamak, see I can move my hand a bit. I said, superb, you've got great doctors, you've been doing something very good, God bless you. She said, I don't know what it is. I came to your class and after about a year, I'm feeling better. Slowly, slowly, so wheelchairs, crutches, cerebral palsy, HIV affected, infected, children at risk. And by the time everything that happened, it just happened again through nature. And that's how I set up this foundation, which my CEO said, start a foundation, just don't do it like that. What's the future? I want my foundation to grow. Yeah. Uh, I don't depend on sponsors anymore because nobody really knows about my foundation and they don't give money. But what I do is from my shows, I give some money. I've not really made any money in the foundation to, uh, to give out. But when I get the money from my shows and I put that aside to the foundation, that's what keeps it going. Shamak, AI is everywhere today. <laughs> Artificial intelligence, right? So we've actually used AI and we've got some surprises for you. Really? Yeah? And so I want you to have a look. Yeah. So we've looked at product extensions of the foundation. Huh. What can we do? Right, and what can we propose for Brand Shamak, right, to take Victory Arts mm-hmm. Foundation and Brand Shamak to another level? Wow. So the first one was a dance association for old people. There are a lot of old age home shaman. So you know what we do? Yes, we have something called Dance for Good. Right, and we go to all the um, like all these old people's homes, and my dancers go and they dance for them. We've done that in Canada also. We done it all over Bombay also. It's fab fun. I love it. It's fabulous. So what we've called it, we've called it Eternal oh, Moves. That's good. Ageless Joy, Endless, endless Groove. Wow, how beautiful. So we've created a mnemonic for it. Lovely. We've got a couple of more ideas for you to Are ponder it? upon. The next one, a community that promotes inclusivity and body positivity through dance. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Because today it's, it's, it's the need of the hour. Absolutely. So we are calling it oh, Empower, nice. Empower Dance. Empower Dance, yes. Dance, Dance free. free, love yourself. And most important, most important is be yourself no matter what they say. True. That's my sting song. Right. And the, the third one, it's called mindful movements. Mindful free. movements. Move, feel, be free. Nice. Lovely. Mindful. Because today mental illness is a big problem, especially after COVID, as you were saying. And I think that is so powerful that exercising and dancing and some sort of physical activity really, really helps you. I promise you, a lot of people have become happier after this. Right, so for all those who are watching the show, I think dance can be your way out. No, it's true. Dance is a healing. Dance is healing. Lovely. Yeah, the next one. 
we've actually imagined Shamak Dawar starring in and as and producing musicals, right? Mm. So we'd love you to react to them and what you think that could be, right? So yeah, let's go look at the first one. <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> oh my God. But outstandingly done, I must say, huh? Quite a star you are, Aditya. Wow. Would you like to do something like this? Fantastic. Your own version of Fantastic. a musical that can but tour the world. It. Indianize it. Yeah, that can course, tour the world. Of course. Talking about Indianizing a musical, let's go on to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, Shamak, if there was a film made on your life, I'm sure you've been approached for yeah. a biopic, right? Who do you feel can portray Shamak Dabur? I Anybody? think I've got lots to do before a film comes on me, you know? Not, you not so? necessarily, not, not at all. You, well, you, you achieved you've achieved a lot of stuff. To you've, me. you've got a lot of stuff on me because, you know... This could be the part one. Yeah, probably part one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's AI imagining La La you. Land. What a musical, man. That I could have done. So this comes to our next part, which is Game On. This game is guess the price. It's pretty simple. We'll show you a few products and all you have to do is guess their prices. We've, we've had a lot of guests who have actually played this and, and, and let's see how great you are. Have you gone out shopping? Do you, do you buy stuff? Uh, I buy only uh, namkeen stuff. <laughs> namkeen stuff. Okay, so let's see if you can guess these ones. Right, for the first product, I'm sure you've seen this. It's a clothes folder. It you, doesn't look expensive. Right? How much would this be? Again, 500 bucks. 500 bucks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now you're close. Okay. Yeah, 500 bucks, 599. The next one, a tissue paper hat. Especially. Are you serious? This happens. This is a product, Shama. You're not joking. And this has a price in Indian rupees. Again, 500 bucks. 500 bucks, 900. Yeah. Okay. And the last one. Superb. Nice. A total body umbrella. I like this. 300 bucks. Slightly more. Okay, not bad. But that, Samak, you were quite close. You're, 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 My you're father, educationist, businessman, I must have had something. Huh? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Our next game is called the Dance Diagnosis. Right? We're going to actually talk about a couple of names. And you need to, as the guru of dance, talk about what can they do to enhance their dance. I'm and dead. Simple. Now I'm dead. Sunny. Oh, he's so cute. Uh, Sunny just has to be himself. Have you seen the iconic step of his, the, the foot stomping one? Of it, course, it's too cute. Do you love it? Okay. It's too cute. Okay, the next one. She is stunning. She was one of the reasons I did Dil To Pahagale. Something that you'd like to do with Madhuri that people I are not I think something seeing. completely Western. Something completely Western. Yeah. Okay. He's too sweet. He was my friend. I love Sunil. He's a very humble person till today. Right, what about the new kids on the block, which we are coming to? Oh, sweet. The Aranya, all... Suhanas and Kushiko. Have you seen some of their work? Swana used to come to my studio and work in my studio with my ballet teacher, Ava. And Ananya was my student, I think. And I don't know about Kushi, but they all look very talented and I'm sure they'll do very well. And that comes to my last question, Sharma. Let's talk about, I think, something that is extremely close to your heart, that your dance company. Mm. Not just present in India, but you've expanded it to UAE, UK, yeah. US. Yeah. What are the plans for Shamal Dava Dance Company in the future? My plan for the future is to see that I'm 63, so I think of the next 20 years, 15, 20 years. I want to settle and see my SDIP grow and be a more worthy, much more worthy by having really a proper building where people can really learn creative arts, not only dance, Singing, dancing, acting, gardening, sculpting, learning about uh, spirituality, everything under one roof, which doesn't have to be, oh, you have to be very intelligent to do it. No, it's according to what you can do. I want to make people happy. I want them to be able to express themselves. You know, if you don't want to dance, you can sing, you can act, you can play a sport. Come to a place where you get everything. Because see, what is my legacy? My legacy are my students. Yes. They are, that's my legacy. Shamak, thank you very much for coming here today on Kiska Brand Bajega. Your journey in the world of dance is truly amazing. I wish you all the success in the future. Can't wait to see which project you pick up next. All the very best. Ladies and gentlemen, Shamak Dawar. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. So that was Shamak Dawar talking about his brand journey on India's biggest marketing show, Kiska Brand Vajega. We'll be back with another celebrity brand next week. Don't forget to join us. Until then, keep smiling and keep shining. <laughs>